Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West. Last episode, we went and explored up here and found Split Crag, which is where the Bristlebacks came from. We also found this barrier, which we can't get by. It's probably going to be another quest, and we're going to end up going all the way around up here and eventually reach the top here. And I still have places I want to explore. While we do have barren light down here, I'm pretty sure I can't get in there. That is a block path I can't get in. But we have the hunting grounds over here, and I'm curious about that. So we're going to make our way towards the hunting grounds. Which I think I can get to by going this way. Those are more chargers. I haven't actually killed a charger. I think I'll be fine. I'll kill the chargers at some point in the future, I'm sure. Ah, no. I need to go over this way. This is the way to the hunting grounds. I'd like to go through the hunting grounds. Any animals to kill over here? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Well... Another dead raccoon. I probably need the loot. A raccoon skin. That might be actually exactly what I need. Okay. So, if I follow this road south, I should be able to reach it. Okay, should be over here. I think this is where it's going to be. And a random dead burrower. Sure thing. Let me just drop a save here, because I can. Ooh, and I have a, uh, a workbench. Yes, pouch upgrades. Tripwire pouch and hunter arrow quiver. That actually would be good. I'll take this one. And a tripwire pouch. Sure, why not? For the rest, we need things I haven't found yet. Oh. Still, that is good. Not gonna get those. I can do weapon upgrades. I can do the shock trip caster. Go for it. Go ahead, do it again. We have enough. I could do a scrounger spark coil. Eh, I'll pass. Thunder sling. I can do this upgrade. That needs a Scrounger Spark Coil. That one needs a Bristleback Tusk. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Go ahead and do this one. And Scrounger Spark Coil for the last of each of them. Okay, that'll do. Now then. You wish to speak? I'll take care of this. Fearless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Isvod here is all kinds of trials, so hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. Now the Tanakh have them out west too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. Hmm. In fact, the Tanath used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out to those who weren't stripes. Look, they're medals, hmm. Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know. Then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Come to think of it, if you plan on going west, I could convince Izvod to give you some if you aren't stripes here. Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. Oh, and if you happen to play Strike, my friend over there has some nifty pieces to trade. 
You oh, need anything of course. For the trials, come see me. I have some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Well, good luck. Sure. Well, uh, you have strike car have these to give me. I can buy things back. Ooh, finally! Stuff I can sell. Including a load of valuables. So, Mark. Yeah, Mark everything that's basically used for selling. These are all for upgrading items, so I'm not going to sell any of those, or any of those. Okay. So, sell all of those. Very nice. And you sell a bunch of these. I haven't gotten a scrounger, I guess, so... I guess I'll buy one. And I'll buy a charger so I have one of those. That'll do. So what do you have? Oh, hey Red. What do you need? Fire Hunter Bow, an Osram specialty. This mid-range bow delivers precise fire payloads that can burn enemies and detonate blaze canisters. This one is an explosive trip caster, and that's a rope caster. This rope caster of Nor design can incapacitate machines by tying them down. That is something I want. There we go. Fire Hunter bow would actually be better than the explosive, because I can be a bit more precise. Explosive trip caster, I don't care very much about. Tools, nothing there. Resources, don't care about that. Hold on. Uh, rope casters are ideal for tying machines down. Oh. Tap that while firing, while aiming to fire a rope. Attach enough ropes to a machine, and it will become tied down, preventing it from moving for a long period of time. Well, I'd also like the Fire Hunter Bow. And I'll take that instead of the Nora Thunder Sling. Thanks for stopping by. Now. Oh, what did that say? An ammo that deals fire damage is now available. Use a focus scan. Okay, same kind of thing, blaze canisters. Weapon upgrades. So, I don't care about the Thunder Sling. The rope caster. That's actually going to be useful. Can't upgrade that anymore. How about the fire hunter bow? Can't upgrade that. Can't upgrade that anymore. Still, that's definitely good. And the hunter arrows are good. Oop. And we are good. Now the only other thing I kind of want to do, if I can... Uh, unequip that. We got the regular hunter bow. Unequip that. I kind of want to put these in the places I want. So we've got the hunter bow there. Fire hunter bow can go there. Shock trip caster can go on the bottom. Rope caster can go over here. The frost blast sling can go here. And I guess I can put the karma the carja behemoth short bow there. There we go, much better. Now then, let's see what challenges you have for me. 
Time to train. If you're looking for medals prized by the Tanakh, you can earn them here, Savior. Thank you. Oh, I'd like you to have this, if you care to use it. A shock warrior bow. Considering my thanks for getting Thurlis out of trouble. All Kardrick soldiers know that the sun sets on the unprepared. These grounds have long readied their hunters to face the fierce machines prowling the western border. From shooting off machine parts to using shock ammo and weapons effect efficiently, the trials found here will bestow lessons vital to surviving the Forbidden West. Shoot off and loot scrounger power cells. Shock machines near a scrounger by overloading its power cell with shock ammo. And use environmental traps set up in the grounds to kill machines in the shocked state. Alright, well, tear trial is going to be easy. Use your focus to tag a scrounger's power cell and make it easier to spot. Use weapons and ammo that inflict tear damage to remove components. Use the shock warrior bow or shock tripcaster to put a machine in the shocked state and immobilize it. Parts can then be torn off more easily. Resources obtained when looting power cells can be used to craft shock ammo. When a machine dies, you can no longer shoot off its components. Shoot off and loot scrounger power cells. Go down the ropes. And I'll start timing you. Okay then. Let's see. Power cells are in the back. Oh, wrong thing. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh boy. Loot the power cells. Did I not loot the other one? There we go. It's looted. Let me out. I still remember when the Tanakh forced Could have gone a little better, but I got it. A reward well earned. Thank you! And I got all the rewards. Four hunting medals, two 20 metal shards, and a small machine core. Five more for that one, and six more for that one. So for this, I need to shock things. Remain vigilant in your travels, Savior. So I do have access to a shock bow. The shock warrior bow. I can upgrade that a bit at least. Let me see, I just need to, well, first off, there we go. Now let me swap around my weapons a bit. That is actually going to be better than the Karja Behemoth bow. Okay. You wish to practice your hunting skills, Savior? Yeah, Even let's give this a try. Can use some hunting practice hey, Yoshi. Again. So the shock trial. Hitting a power cell with shock ammo will cause a delayed explosion that will shock any machines in range. Use the shock warrior bow to hit a scrounger's power cell and overload it near other machines. Use shock ammo on a machine to build up shock state. Okay. Everything's set up. Machines near ropes, scroungers over shocked with overloaded power cells. Okay, that's two of them shocked. I 
You need to find another one somewhere. Oh shit! Hi! Hi, 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 get shocked. Got him. Okay, let me get out of here before they try to kill me. Ow, 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 I said let me get out of here. And I'm out. There we go. This is your safe. All right, mission accomplished. That was not hard at all. There we go, and shock and trap trial. Use your focus to spot the trap set up within the grounds. Using shock ammo on a machine will build it up. Shock warrior bow or shock trip caster to shock machines beneath a trap, then trigger the trap by shooting it. So I need to shock them, set up. and then kill them Use with the traps. This is actually going to be a little difficult. Well, that worked. You're gonna go boom and trigger that one. That's two of them. And I need to wait. Oh, ow! Come over here, you. I need you to get over here. Because you're a shocker. That'll do. Little closer. There you go. That'll do it. That'll do it. Stop. No. Don't move. Damn it. You missed. So much for that. But I can use the trip caster. Come here, you. Come here. Once you come here, you'll... Ah, oh, jeez. No, I need you to come closer to me. Oh, come on! There we go. Okay, got it. Let's get out of here. There we go, and we can climb up. You did well. This is yours. Thank you. And we got all of them. Hunting, hunting, hunting medal, and the big grand rewards. Two skill points, a couple weaves, and coils. Now that is beautiful. These grounds are always open to you. And we got to die. Train for the hunt, Savior. Earn at least a qu Okay. Beautiful. Anything else I want to upgrade? Not at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Now, I believe I can... Yeah, in the inventory, I've got a couple coils and weaves. 
There's the ammo, so we have shock ammo. Charger, primary nerve, sure. We got the strike pieces, I don't care about those much. And the hunting medals. Right, uh, let's see. So I have the shock warrior bow, which I can't put anything on. I can put something on the hunter bow? Is that the only thing I can put on? No, the thunder sling and the short so, if I put a coil on here, nothing worth it there. I can put something on this. Increase it as acid damage and build up a minor bit. It's not worth it. Armor, I cannot apply anything. I don't think I really have any other armor. No, I do have other armor. It's just not something I want to try right now. Low health, ranged damage, second chance of one. Yeah, that's for when I'm low on health. This is for da this is for melee attacks. And what I have is concentration regen and extra medicine potency, which is actually good. I'm I'm gonna keep this. Okay. So that is handled, and I want to see if I can go all the way up there. So, I've got a bit of running to do. Okay, I need it to be out. Wrong weapon. Okay, you're looking for me, but I don't need to fight you right now. I will take all of these, however. There we go. Now then. Not gonna bother going to that town yet. I don't think there's a point. I'm gonna go ahead this way. This is the right way? This is the right way. See if I can get all the way to the top. If so, fantastic. If not, okay. Hello, creatures. I do not wish to fight you. I'm just gonna take this route up here. I'll have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Yes, I am aware. I'm sure the cauldron is behind that massive group that was over there. Right, past all of them. And we've got a road over here. Interesting. Uh, yep, I can follow this road up. There will be something up there. Hmm. Is it this way? No, that is not the way. Just ignore me. I have nothing to do with any of you. I am just passing by. I think it's right... Oh, yep, it's right over here. Okay. Easy enough to get. Quick save. Now let's head all the way up. Hey, another loot cache. Alright, what do we got in here? Hmm. What's back here? That's what I'm wondering. Can climb up this cliff. Huh. Looks like it. Huh. Yep, this is a climbing. All the way up here. This will definitely get us to where I want to go. Huh. This pigment would work well in armor. 
Hmm. It does look like there's a camp up here. This camp was abandoned a while ago. Well, maybe there's something I can take. Like this treasure. And this treasure, too. An old Karja watchtower. There's the watchtower. Knew watch there was one out here. A metal clamp that I can uh, tear down. Interesting. my pole caster from a better direction. Uh, okay. How about right here? And got it. All right, let's climb this thing. Up to this one. That's a hell of a jump. This tower is barely holding together. But I'm making my way up. Okay, where from here? Made it. There we go. And there's another one of those devices. Yep, we got another signal lens, the lens, lens. of twilight. All right. Well, we've made it to the top of here. I can definitely see something at the far end over there. I don't know where the other two towers would be located exactly. Could be one up there. I don't know. I still don't know how to get to that one. It said I seem to have explored most of the region. Oh, let's head down. There we go. Is there an easy way down around here somewhere? That would be nice. There's barren light. Ah, there it is. In the forbidden west beyond it. Ah, there's barren light. Oh, and one of those things. That's, that's definitely concerning, seeing that. Alright, well, down we go. And we have a zip line over here. I don't know what that was. No matter. Though I do have a bird I can kill. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but I'll take whatever it had. He was a jay! Good. I think I did need to kill a jay. Alright. And with that, I'm gonna find some place to say... Actually, can I just teleport? I think I need to find a campfire and then I can teleport. And there is a campfire over by the uh, hunting grounds, which is right by us. So we should be able to teleport from that. You know what? That is fine. And with that, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, I guess we can try heading back to... Uh, we can try heading back to the town and turning in the quests we've done. This should be interesting. We'll be stocked. And that'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I am Chester44, I'll soon in his fly. That is Aloy. This has been a Let's Play of... Oh, wait! Before I do, I just noticed I have three skill points. So, you know what? Let's uh, put some skill points in. Uh, I did want the sneaking ones over here. Quiet movement would be good. 
and low profile. So I'll take that. I'll take that. You have unlocked your first Valor Surge. Hold R to equip it. Stealth Stalker. Activate a cloaking device based on Stalker technology to decrease visibility to enemies. Aiming a weapon or using melee attacks temporarily deactivates the device. Okay. That's going to be useful. And I don't think I can improve it anymore, but it is nice to have. A uh, quiet spear would be useful, means I'm less noticed. But I should have other abilities. Um... Carrying more medicinal berries would actually be useful. It's only two more, but it would be nice. Low health defense would be useful. That'll do. All right. And that is where I'm going to end this episode. Next episode, back to town. Till then, yes, thank you. Valor Surges are extremely powerful, rare abilities that can instantly I'm turn the tide of a figure. fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash its ultimate power. Earn Valor through tactical gameplay, and when a segment of the Valor Surge bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel and tapping space. Unlock additional levels to add segments to the Valor Surge bar and gain extra effects. Noted. Thank you. But yes, that is the end of this episode. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Aloy. This has been a Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West, and I shall see you all next time.